and iPad security Garich will tell you what happened and what it means to you. Plus, a new 3D TV channel kicks off just in time for the World Cup. Welcome to Digits. I'm Simon Constable. Joining me on the set, we have Spencer Onte of the Wall Street Journal, also Julia Angman, also of the Wall Street Journal. Spencer, you've been covering this security breach. What happened? Yeah, so uh, yesterday there was a report on Gawker, a technology blog, which reported that there was a significant uh, security breach related to the email addresses of iPad users, the Apple tablet computer, 114,000 email addresses in, were in, inclu- scraped from the AT&T website. Including Rahm Emanuel and Mike Bloomberg, to name a, a couple of people. High-profile people. The early adopters of the iPad were very yeah. uh, VIPs, yeah. including you know Rahm, including um, military officials, including government financial officials. So how did this work? How did they manage to do that? I mean, so these, 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 these it's a little complicated, but you boil it down, and what they did was there was a security hole in the AT&T website. So when you when you registered your iPad, you had to put in your email, yeah. and it sent your email to the AT&T website, and and so the security firm wrote some computer code that allowed them to harvest these email addresses that were attached to the IDs of your iPad, okay. and and you know it was a pretty sophisticated hack, yeah. but you know. So they go by the unlikely, a lot of email addresses. They, they're, they're, they go by the unlikely name of Goatsy. Do we know anything about this uh, this organization other than the fact that they, they hack and then they um, then they send it to I uh, spoke Gorka. I spoke to one of the employees of Goatsy last night on the phone, and he told me that they're a nine person security consulting firm. Yeah. That in the tradition of many of these firms, they what they do is they they try to expose these yeah. security holes, and then they publicize them to uh, basically show off their skills yeah. and then also to drum up business for the consulting firm. Okay. It's an no, interesting way to do advertising. It, yeah. it really is an interesting <laughs> way. And, um, you know, who, who knows whether this is legal or not. Julia, you cover privacy, and this isn't exactly a privacy issue, but it is related because if your bre- security is breached, your privacy might be. What, what should consumers, the, the people watching, you, me, Spencer, what do we need to do to sort of guard against this sort of thing? Well, first of all, there's not that much you can do about how AT&T programs its website, and that's yeah. just a bummer. It's a black eye for AT&T, and I wouldn't want to be the person at AT&T Another who, black eye for who AT&T. got the call from Apple <laughs> complaining. But you as a consumer, the limited ability you have to control these things, you should probably use a different email address for when you do online shopping. So I have a separate email address that's AOL just for all my transactions where I know I might get spam or where it might be hacked. And okay. so there, all the spam that might come from a hack like this would then go to that address instead of your work address. So, so yeah, and the work address is the big issue because it does appear to be a lot of these e- email addresses were work email addresses yeah. to be very high profile people. Now, Spencer, what's AT&T said to all this? So at and I spoke to their chief security officer last night, yeah. and he said that they, they, they apologized. They admitted That's they good. made a mistake. Um, but the reason they gave was very interesting. They said that the reason they, they pre-populated these emails on their website was for the convenience of the iPad customer who, ah. when they wanted to go buy more data to use the at and iPad, mm. they would go to the website, and they would not have to retype in their email address in the website, so it saved them a little bit of time. And apparently other people wouldn't either, like Goatsy. Okay, cool.